going on? Welcome to another Millennium video. We got a little visitor here. She has been very needy today and feels like she needs to be constantly on me. So hopefully she won't be in the way the entire video. But my first plan was to do a eyeshadow look, but my eyelash extensions are so sparse right now. I literally have like three on each eye and it just looks horrible. So I threw on some lash extensions and we're gonna do a what's in my purse video. I have seen them a lot on YouTube like back in the day and I really enjoyed watching them. So I said, why not? Let's do this. There she goes. So this is my purse. It is Michael Kors. I purchased this about two or three years ago when we were living in DC at our Air Force base. Um, and I got a pretty good deal on it. I really liked it because I got it in the fall and this is like a perfect fall color. I would totally tell you the name of this purse, but I actually don't know it. So if you're ready, let's get to it. So I really love that this purse has a slot in the back for your cell phone. I really find it useful. I hate it when, you know, we all have so much stuff in our purse and when we really need something, it takes forever to find it. And you're like digging in there trying to find something. But I really appreciate that they made this little pocket. This is my wallet and it is Michael Kors as well. I got this probably around five years ago. Sometime while John and I were dating, he gave me this in like a side like little satchel purse that matched it. But I still keep this around. I'm just literally gonna, whatever comes out, comes out. Nothing is in order. Then I keep my wet brush and I love these brushes. Like if you don't have a wet brush, you need one in your life. I love to carry this one around because it's mini. And you know, sometimes when your hair is straight, not necessarily when your hair is curly because you don't want to mess your curls up, but when your hair is straight, sometimes you want to just brush it out and make it nice and soft again. And then I have my Victoria's Secret hand cream in pomegranate. I actually got this for Christmas like two years ago. I just like to keep it in here just in case my hands are dry. Then I have some gloves because I'm in Idaho and it's super cold outside. And my favorite part about these is that they are the touchscreen kind, like a different material on the fingertips. So I can actually unlock my phone and I don't have to be taking them off because we all know how annoying that is. And then I have some pica fresas. These are, <laughs> these are um, some Mexican candy that John is obsessed with. And we had an entire bag of these and he finished it all. The other day when I was headed out to work, I noticed there was like four left and I was like, I need to take advantage and take these before, before they're all gone. Then I have my key. This is for my locker at work, so we, I can put my purse up. And I'm not sure why it's loose. It gets annoying having to go all the way to the bottom of my purse to find this. So I need to put this on my keychain or something. But yes, I've lost this so many times and I always freak out. Oh my goodness. And somehow this ended up in my purse and I know exactly why these are in here. Do I have any more? I have three from the last time we went shooting. I actually had my purse on the floor, which I would totally get yelled at by my mom for doing that. I don't know if this is a Hispanic mom thing, but actually it's not a Hispanic mom thing. It's a bad luck thing. My mom has always told me not to put my purse on the floor or I will be broke forever. So, um, mom, don't watch this. But yeah, and um, somehow these ended up in my purse because it was just in the way and, you know, when you shoot, the little shelves go flying everywhere and they ended up in here. I'm gonna bring the camera down a little bit just so you can see that I'm actually taking this out of my purse because you can't really see that. All right, so excuse the mess. But, um, so in the middle part, I just have some lipsticks. This is the ColourPop Blotted Lip in Doozy. I love this one just because it's like, such a mauve color that I can wear with any look. 
and it's a blotted lip which means it pretty much lasts all day so this is a shade I always have with me and then I have my buxom in Ker Royale I love buxom because they are like really refreshing to your lips this is um, a really dark color but it doesn't actually look this shade on my lips it just looks like a red glossy color but it's really refreshing so I love to carry this one around oh and then I have my mini tardiest lip paint in birthday suit I actually got this I don't remember if it was Sephora or if it was from Ulta for your birthday they give you gifts make sure if you aren't already you sign up your email with Sephora and Ulta because on your birthday you get gifts and who doesn't want gifts this color is really pretty it's a nude shade and it's just so cute and little I just want to carry it around why not I am not sure why this is still in my purse I obviously didn't clean this before I started recording this video so you're welcome nice and natural um, this is a BB&T um, name tag from when I was working at the bank years ago so whoops I don't even have the back magnet for this so that's unnecessary and then I have a Eva NYC purse perfect hair towelette so I got two of these from Influencer, and I don't know why but for some reason I imagine that they were like dry shampoo and I just threw them in my purse because they're just little and, and I mean it says purse perfect so at least I read that but there was this one day that I had oily roots and I said well, I have this towelette in my purse that I can use for my roots well let me just tell you that I grabbed this without reading instructions or reading that it said Tangs Frizz smooths flyaways and refreshes on the go. Wipe mid lengths to ends avoiding roots. Avoiding roots. I did not read this. I just imagined that it was for my oily roots and I rubbed it all over my roots and then I just had extra greasy hair. So now this is my last one and I'm just saving it in here because one day I will actually use this on my ends like I'm supposed to. And then I have my Bath & Body Works Sweet Pea Hand Sanitizer. I love this one. It smells so good and we sell them at work and they're like literally right next to me while I'm working. So I always have one of these in my purse. And then I have a fire department pin. Oh, yeah. It was from that one day that they had the whole fire department come into my job and they showed us how to use a fire extinguisher and then they gave us a price. So I got a pin and I got popcorn. So that was a good day. And then last but not least, I have what everybody else has in their purse, my keys and I need a new lanyard but every time I happen to get a new lanyard that's really cute or a really cute keychain John ends up taking my keys and he doesn't want to be seen with anything girly at work so he ends up taking my lanyard off but for now I have my little Los Cabos uh, keychain from last summer and I have a, a I Love Texas Longhorns keychain that my mother-in-law gave me and then I have the, our car our car key, and then we have our Jeep key, and then the home keys, I believe. Who knows anymore? Another really neat thing that this purse has is it has this, and I'm not 100% what this is for, but I like to clip my keys onto it, and then that way, whenever I am in a rush, I just literally look for that little string, and it takes me to my keys, and whoever invented this, I don't know if you invented this for this, but thank you. Because I'm one of those people that before they leave a building or a house, and you're walking to your car I always like to have my keys in my hand just in case as standing by my car freaking out looking for my keys is terrifying to me I don't know why I guess it's just safety first right oh so, and that was all that I had in my purse 
Hopefully next week we can get back to a makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If y'all did, give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week. Bye.